This is TJ with Bull Ridge Plumbing. We are at 1111 Kingham Drive, making a dirty movie on the roof. On the roof. Um, currently, we are out 109 feet. We are in the city main. I'm going to pause for just a second here. Okay, we're back. Rag was all tangled up. Couldn't get it out. So 109 feet. We are actually in the city main. We're going to start backing up. So it looks like they've replaced the city tap here. We are plastic. Got a little bit of PVC right here. That's green SDR pipe. Backing up. Right here, we've swapped to clay. Clay sewer line. We do have washer running in the house so there may be water draining on top of us uh, out of my control slight offset right here going from the top to the bottom everything's water falling over the edge it's not really impeding in any flow really not a major concern at all it's just there we see that in every clay sewer line we also expect to see roots another slight offset to the side so I am looking at this on a really small screen on my telephone. So we'll throw the disclaimer in now that I will take this back. We'll view this on the big screen. Make sure there's nothing major that we're missing. Right here you can actually see we've got some roots coming down on, that, on the sides. Um, looks like we got roots coming in around on that joint right there. We got roots coming in right there. So just because we have the appearance of roots, I'm gonna recommend that we treat this sewer with some Root-X. Root-X is a foaming root killer, fills this line completely with herbicide from top to bottom, kills all those roots off, and that is good for a year. Recommend doing that service annually. Once we get ahead of the roots, then we can just do that service instead of having to do cleans. Here you can see that we've got more roots actually coming in on that joint. Because of that, I am going to recommend that we do a service, a sewer clean on this. Because I know that we've got a few more spots like this. A little bit of a belly created by those roots and that blockage right there. More roots and debris right here. So we'll do a clean. Treat it with some root X right after that. A little bit of a belly right here. You can actually see that we got something going on here some sort of blockage right here that is creating a larger belly. You can see all that buildup on the walls. Definitely need a sewer clean on this. Um, and like I said, we'll treat it with that root X, get that stuff all cleaned out. We will also do another sewer inspection at that time. To get ahead of all this stuff. Looks like we transitioned to the cast iron under the house right there cast iron's a little rough not terrible but a little rough so I'm also going to recommend that we do a descale of the cast iron under this home descale consists of a chain knocker with some carbide blades with teeth on it spins around really fast takes off the high spot smooths it out a little bit to allow everything to flow a little bit better Here we turn, we're coming up our main stack. Copper waste or copper waste lines up above the floor in this house. And here we come out of the stack, wipe it off and show you around a little bit. So here's the stack that we went down up here backyard neighbor's house here's the street street sign over there not sure if you can see it but that is also 12th street right there so once again we're going to recommend a sewer clean and treatment with some root x and a uh, descale of the cast iron this has been a bull ridge dirty movie production thank you